So far, we have learned that what is unit circle, and we have also learned that uh, what is the um, equation of sine theta and cos theta with unit circle. So with unit circle, we have uh, just discussed that sine theta will be x, where x is our base, and cos theta, or other way, other way around. So sine theta was y, sorry, and cos theta was x. And then our tan, tan theta was y over x. So that was the conclusion of our discussion. Now we have to continue our discussion and find sine theta and cos theta and tan theta values for all of those different angles. But our aim is to not use uh, any calculator, but instead we will employ this unit circle. So let's start. So we we'll start with the simple and we will make things a little bit complicated at the end. So in the start, we have to find what is the uh, value of sine theta when angle is zero. When angle is zero, we are on this line. That means we are here. We have not traveled in the anti-clockwise direction. We are here. We are on the zero point, right? So at this point, the, the, the answer of x will be cos and answer of y will be sine. So what will be the value of sine theta and cos theta at this point? So sine theta is equals to y and at this point we have established that our y is equals to zero. zero. So sine theta is going to be zero. So sine and theta, what is theta? Theta is basically, we don't have to write theta here, we have to write zero here. We can say sine zero is zero and our cos uh, zero is what? Uh, x. Which is, x is what? One. One. So we are done with our first theta. So now we have to find a value of theta for 90. So that means we have to go because it's a positive 90. So we will travel uh, anti-clockwise direction and we reach this line. So now we add this line. And at this line, here we have to find what is the value of x and y and that will become our sine theta and cos theta. So now what is sine theta, which is value of y or sine 90, it means value of y at this point will be equals to what? One. Sine 90 is one. What is cos 90? X which is equal to zero. X is equal to zero. So, so far so good because we are doing some easy stuff at the moment. So now here we have to find a minus 180 answer, right? So minus 180 means that we don't, we can't go in anti-clockwise direction. Instead, we will travel in clockwise direction. So we will travel this direction, and this will be our minus uh, 90. We have to go minus 180. So this is our minus 90, and this will be our minus 180. So we will reach this line, right? And now we have to find here that what is the value of our uh, x and y, and according to that, we'll say sine, sine minus 180 is equals to value of y here. Zero. Zero. And cos minus 180 is minus what? One. Minus one. So we have done these three easy peasy questions. Now we have to do with minus 90. This is also easy. Yes? Yeah. Answer for minus 180 will be the same as answer for one, uh, plus 180. Exactly right. So answer for minus 180 will be the same answer for plus 180 because if we go towards uh, plus 180, we will also read this line. If we go minus 180, we will also read this line. So basically, in this case, uh, uh, minus 180 and plus 180 will give the same answer. So now, uh, but minus 90 and plus 90 will not give us same answer, yeah. right? Because if we go to plus 90, we will reach this line. If we go to minus 90, we will not reach this line, we will, we will reach this line, right? So now we have to go to minus 90. So therefore that we travel a uh, clockwise direction and we reach this line. Now, these values will determine that what are sine theta and cos theta. So, sine minus, minus 90 is equal to y value here. Minus 1. Minus 1. And uh, cos uh, minus 90 is equal to? 0. Is equal to 0. 
So our easy peasy stuff is over. Now we have to do some mathematics to solve, uh, some more mathematics to solve last of these three angles. So let's clear the board and then uh, find out what is the value of sine theta and cos theta for these angles. But before that, we also have to find value of tan theta for these different values, right? So tan theta will add here tan theta because it is like uh, tan theta is sine, uh, cos over sine. You know, and sine over cos, sine which over is cost. sine over cos. So basically, it's going to be 0 over 1. So here, our tan theta at this point, our tan theta or tan 0 is going to be 0, right? Because uh, sine is 0. Now, at this point, because our sine is 1 and cos is 0, so tan theta is not defined. Because whenever, whenever, whenever in the denominator we have 0, then we say this function is not defined, right? So in this case, our tan theta is going to be, tan theta is going to be uh, basically uh, sine, which is 1 over 0, which is basically infinity, so it's not defined. Is it tan 90? Yeah, it's tan 90. I'm just, I mean, tan theta, but theta is 90. Okay. Okay, so it's not defined here. So tan, tan is not defined on all the points, right? So tan is not defined here. Similarly, we can f uh, find value of tan here and here and all of those places. So now let's clear the board and find uh, what is the sine and cos and tan for 45 degree angle, 60 degree angle, and 30 degree angle. So now our math become more interesting because for uh, finding sine theta and cos theta for these angles, we have to do some uh, more interesting mathematics than uh, for other angles. So let's start. First, uh, what will be the sine theta and cos theta for 45? So the key thing here is that 45 is midpoint from here to here, right? That means uh, at the start, at the start here, our value of x is more and our value of y is less. As we start going up, our x is decreasing and y is increasing. At the midpoint, x and y both become equal. So for this, our key is that x and y both are same because it is a midpoint from here to here. So now we can find angle of 45. So we know we know that because at the, this is 45 is exactly at the mid because whole angle is 90 and 45 is in the middle. So at, at theta equals to 45 degrees, our x is equals to y. And this become our first equation. And our second equation is what? Pythagoras theorem. Very good. So second equation is going to be x square plus y square is equal to 1 square. And now using these two equations, we can find value of x and y. So let's put uh, x value here or y value here maybe. So our this equation will become uh, x square plus x square equals to 1. It's 1 square, but 1 square is 1. So that's our equation. That means 2x square is equal to 1. And x square is equal to 1 over 2. Now we have to take square root from the both sides. And we would take square root, then we will become x is equal to plus minus 1 over square root of 2. That's our uh, x. And why here we have plus minus? Because whenever we take uh, square root, then uh, we have plus minus because it's possible that we have x is equals to minus 1 over 2, 1 over square root of 2. Because uh, when, we say, when, when x is equals to minus uh, 1 over square root of 2 and we take square root of both sides, then our answer will be equals to 1 over 2. Right? Because uh, when we, minus, minus, minus times minus will be plus. And it's possible that x, uh, x is equals to uh, plus uh, 1 over square root of 2. And in this case also, our answer will be 1 over 2. That's why we have put um, plus minus uh, uh, 1 over 2. But the thing is that it will not be, e x value will not be equal to plus minus 1 over 2. Because we are in what quadrant? We are in what? In the first quadrant. So in the first quadrant, we know that x and y are? Positive. 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 So that means we can ignore the negative value. 
if we are in the second coordinate, then we, we might have to ignore the positive value, right? But in the first coordinate, we know that x and y are positive, so we ignore the negative value. We say x is equal to plus uh, 1 over square root of 2. Now we have find x, and because x and y both are same, so what is y going to be? It's very it's a mysterious. It's a mystery. Y is going to be what? The same thing, yes, yeah. 1 over square root. So now we have find x and y. Now can we find sine theta and cos theta? What is our sine 45 degrees? 1 over root. Over, uh, because it's equals to sine is equals to uh, y, and y is 1 over square root 2. So it's going to be 1 over square root 2. And also that will be equals to cos 45 degrees. So using some a uh, trick we are able to find an uh, angle for theta is equal to 45. Now let's continue and use some more tricks to find uh, sine and cos for theta equal to 60 degrees. So let me clear this board first. Uh, this part we don't need anymore. So now our um, vector has angle of 60. So our theta is 60. It's not in the middle. It's uh, basically uh, further than middle. So this angle here is 60. Right? This angle, uh, this angle doesn't exist because our x and y are now changed. And this will be my x and then this will be my y. So this is my x and my y. As, as I have gone up, my x has decreased, right? Previously my x was bigger when, when my angle was 45 degrees, but now my x has decreased, right? And this will be my y. So now I'm not here, I'm, my point is also a bit higher here, this x and y, or equals to cos theta and sine theta. So now let's draw this triangle. It's the same triangle that I'm drawing here, right? So this same triangle, I'm just magnifying and drawing it here. So I have this triangle there. Here I have 90 degrees and here I have 60 degrees. And I extend this triangle by making another triangle in this direction. So let's make another triangle this direction. This is just a mirror triangle. That means these both triangles are exactly the same but mirror to each other. So what will be this angle here? Uh, 60 degrees. 60 degrees. Very. You guys are very intelligent. This angle will be 60 degrees. And what will be the, this angle? 90 degrees. 90 degrees again. And now you don't know, uh, maybe you know, that this triangle is special. We call this equilateral triangle. Yes. Because, because you know that sum of all the angles is 180. And in this triangle, all the angles are same. Because if we say 60 plus 60, we don't know this one, this we know this one, but we know that their sum is going to be 180. And 60 plus 60, and this will also be 60, because 60 plus 60 plus 60 is equal to 180. So in a triangle uh, whose all angles are equal, it's called equilateral triangle. And in such a triangle, all sides are also equal. We know, we, we know already the one triangle, which is, which, which is this one. What is this triangle name is? What's the name of this triangle? It is a right angle triangle. So it's a right angle triangle. And now we know a name of another triangle, which is equilateral triangle. In equilateral triangle, all the sides are same and all the angles are same. So 60, 60, 60, or we know this side is one because this side is this one, right? Yeah. This side is one. And because this side is one, so the other side will also be one. So this will be what? One. And this will be what? One. One. So now we can, we are getting somewhere, right? And now we know that all the sides are one, but we are interested in this side because we, this is our triangle. We have to find x. Yeah. If, because our x is this thing, this. This is our x because we have, remember we have doubled it. Yes. So what will be our x, which will be exactly half. Half one over point five. So it's 0.5 or 1 over 2. So this is like 1 over 2. And now we have found our x. Our x is going to be 1, one over, over two. 2. And now we have to find our y. 
How can we find out a why? Any ideas? Pythagoras, you know. So I don't know why our calculator guy speaks like a calculator. So maybe something to do with, with the extensive use of calculator. So guys, using calculator is harmful. So now we can use Pythagoras theorem to find a value of y. We know that our x square, which is this one, this is our x square plus y square, we don't know, is equals to basically a hypotenuse scale, which is one scale, right? This is Pythagoras theorem. So basically, y square is equals to one minus uh, one over four because it was it was scared, so I have done one over four, right? I've scared it. Yes. Makes sense. Now one minus one over four means we have we, we minus one quarter from the one. We're left with three quarters. Makes sense. Yeah. So it's like three over four is left. So this is our but this is not our answer. We have to find answer of y. This is answer of y square. So y is going to be anybody anybody under root over 3 over 4 uh, it is under root 3 over 2 under root 3 over 2 but it's not correct it's not completely correct anybody anybody what about the sign what about the sign plus minus plus minus so it's going to be plus minus under root 3 over 2 but we reject the but because we are in the first quadrant, we have to first find the right answer and then we have to reject something, right? So because we are in the first quadrant, so we don't need minus sign here. In the first quadrant, x and y both are positive. So this is going to be only plus, right? This is going to be plus uh, uh, under 3 over 2. So now we can find our answer for uh, sine 60. Sine 60 is what? Yes, under root 3 over 2. Very good. You guys are very intelligent. And what is going to be cos 60, which I don't know where to write, maybe here. What is cos 60 is going to be? Cos 60 is equal to 1 by 2. Uh, cos 60 is, what is x? Cos 60 is x. 1 by 2. 0.5, 1 by 2. 1 yeah. by 2. So, uh, 1 by 2 or 1 by 2? Oh, yes, it's 1 by 2. Yes, 1 by 2 is fine. 1 by 2 is fine. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You are right. So now we have find our, uh, uh, for theta 45, we have find sine theta and cos theta. And we, for theta 60, we have find sine theta and cos theta. What about yes. tan theta? Tan theta is uh, just um, a ratio of sine over cos, right? So tan theta ratio of sine over cos. In maybe just find, quickly find, what is tan, what is our tan 60? We know that our sine 60 is this one. This is going to be our sine 60. And we know that our cos 60 is this one. So now we have to flip it because it is, we, have, we have to divide it. So we have to flip it, right? So it's going to be 2 over 1. And then 2 will cancel with 2. And our answer for tan 60 is going to be? Under root 3. Under root 3. Under root 3. Dun, dun, dun. Right? So similarly, uh, we can find uh, tan 45 but which is trivial you just have to it's the ratio between sine and if you know sine theta and cos theta finding tan theta is free right yeah so now let me clear the board and we will find our last one which is uh, for theta uh, uh, 30 what is our sine theta and cos theta so let's do that I will let's I will first clear this board quickly so our angle is our triangle is not this one. Our triangle will have a 30 degree angle. And because it will be 30 degree, theta will be 30 degree, so our x will increase or decrease? Because our triangle will be like this. X will, x will increase. X will increase. And y will increase or decrease? Y will decrease. Y will decrease. Very good, very good. I'm very happy when my students are following me. So now our angle is going to be like this. 30 degree is not maybe not 30 degree but it's nearly 30 degree I hope and so this is 30 degree and this will be my uh, y and this will be my x right so this is x is not equal to half this is my x and now once again I have to use the same trick of make equilateral triangle right so now let's uh, amplify this and make a triangle here so I have a triangle here and 
this angle here is of 30 degree and then I have here and this angle here is 90 degree. So the trick is that I extend this triangle by making a mirror triangle below. So now this will be my uh, extended triangle. Uh -huh. So this will be my extended triangle. So because this was 30 and these are two mirror triangles. So this angle will be equals to 60. 30. Oh, the whole angle will be 30 but this will be 30 to so 30, 30 is 60 basically. Yeah. Right, 30, 30 is 60. And because this was 30, this was 90. What will be this one? This one will be like 90 plus 30 minus what? 180 minus this. 180 minus this will be this angle. Because total is 180, you subtract 30 and 90, you will get this angle. 60. So, and this is going to be 60. And when this is equal to 60, then we are very happy. Because whenever our two angles are 60, we know that it is the equilateral triangle and all the angles are 60. So this is our equilateral triangle and uh, once again we are interested in only this one and because uh, in equal triangle all the sides are same so this is one that means this is once again is equal to half right but we, we have to find this one this was our x right this was our y our y is our y is this time half right the last time when we were finding the uh, sine theta and cos theta for 60 degrees, our x was half. But this time our y is half. Right? So because this was our x, this is our x and this is our y. And in this case our y is half. So we have found our y, our y is half. And now we can find x using Pythagoras theorem. Yes. Because remember our original triangle was this one. The other one we have extended only for our understanding. Right? So this line was x, this line was x and this line was y. Right? So we say we know that this whole thing is 1 and we know this is half of this. So that means this will be half, right? So y is half. Make sense? Okay. So now x we don't know but we know that x square plus y square is equals to 1 square which is 1, 1 square is 1, I don't have to write 1 square. So x square uh, we don't know is equals to 1 minus 1 over 4 because y was 1 over 2 so when it goes there it becomes 1 over 4 it means x square is equals to uh, 3, uh, 3 by 4 and x because we are still in the first quadrant so x is going to be square root of 3 by 2 and I'm, I have not written minus sign here because in the first quadrant x and y are positive. When I will give you questions for the practice they will not over the first quadrant they will be like the second and third quadrant because in the, because in the class we do simple stuff and in the practice we do difficult stuff right. Yes. Sure. So now we have found our uh, cos theta or sin theta so let's say sin theta our sin 30 is equals to word, sin 30 is equals to word, sin is always equals to y and here y is equals to word? 1 over 2. 1 over 2. And now cos 30 is equal to square root 3 over 2. Yes. So now in the next video we will see what are the graphs of sin theta and cos theta and how and tan theta and how to write those graphs and we will use once again a unit circle to understand how to write those graphs. So stay tuned.